Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to create a lighting setup uh, for a project that doesn't require a very complicated lighting and physical based lighting. So I have this scene I want to show you right now. It's basically it's a simple scene. It have uh, the two trees and uh, just simple geo with the textures uh, applied to it. And I'm gonna use this scene as an example uh, for a lighting technique I use when I have a projects that have a lot of uh, uh, frames for example some projects I have uh, require 3000 frames of animation it's gonna take a really long time if you're gonna use uh, mental ray physical sky rendering or uh, you know V-Ray and all these stuff so I basically use this lighting setup that I'm gonna show you in this tutorial that I can render like a lot faster because for physical based rendering uh, the average frame could take up to 10 minutes render and if you have a thousand uh, frames then you, you're talking about 10,000 minutes and that's like a lot of time especially if you have one computer or two computer renderings but uh, with this technique you will get like around two minutes per frame which is really fast so you can have all these frames rendered overnight and then you can deliver the projects in really good quality for the clients and uh, you know and this is gonna be a really huge time saver I use it a lot in uh, low budget type uh, projects and it works really well. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the scene I have. Uh, as you can see, it's really simple uh, scene for demonstration. It have two trees and trees usually take a uh, long time to render. So this is a good uh, test. Let's look at the camera and then uh, let's go to the settings. So now I have just a depth pass applied to it everything else here is uh, the usual uh, and here uh, for the quality tab I have uh, the max is 1 the min is 0 and for the filter I use Gauss and everything else here is the same I didn't touch anything I didn't use we're not using now any physical sun and sky and uh, for now the render and the render option you can see the default lighting is turned on so now we're gonna see just the result from the default lighting. So let's render and see. Okay, so now it's 23 seconds uh, per frame without any lighting at all. Because trees take lots of time to render. Okay, so let's start lighting. So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna create a directional light. Because we want a light that represents the sun. So let's go to lights and create directional light. And let's scale it. This scaling is just for uh, viewing purposes, it doesn't affect the uh, light itself. And also the location of it doesn't uh, affect the light itself as well. So let's press 7 so we can see. And I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees first. Let's go to the channel box and negative 90. Okay, so it's pointing directly down. And then in the Z, I'm gonna just rotate it around, let's see, like around negative 30 degrees. 35, 35 degrees ok so now let's go to the settings of this light and there's a couple of things here we need to tweak first thing the color is pure white and the sun usually you get not very pure white so let's change it to close to yellowish so let's change here let's keep tweaking a little bit just to get a little bit uh, toward the yellow side okay we can keep all these settings on everything is good uh, for the shadows now it's pure black let's make it not pure black and just make it a little bit dark gray so the shadows is not very intense and super black because uh, in this technique we're not using any HDRI or physical based rendering so we want the shadows not to be super strong and then we're gonna use ray trace shadows let's keep the light angle 0 and the shadow ray is 1 this is basically just to make sure the render is goes fast because if you change the light angle to 10 or above you're gonna start to have really slow renders especially with this kind of scene when there's trees involved so let's keep it at 0 and 1 and let's open the window save this frame and then let's render okay so now the render time is 27 seconds it's increased a little bit from previous 
but uh, you can see we start to get uh, like the shadows and the light uh, is changed completely from like the default light to more uh, uh, better light representing more like the sun the direct shadows so that's good but there is the issue now we have is there is too much black in the scene and uh, you can see here there's like very dark shadows that you cannot see what's uh, what it's covering and here the garbage bin for example is almost completely in black you can see it and uh, this wall here is completely black as well and you don't want to have like this kind of result in your render you wanna be like lights like reach everywhere so we want to simulate that as well okay so let's save this image and to do that we basically need to create an ambient light so let's go create lights and create ambient light so you can immediately see the, the whole scene get lit up so for this ambient light again I just keep it close toward my directional light and just raise it above the ground and but now the current value of it is really high this uh, one and we need to make it like halfway so 0.5 because ambient light is really it's good that it's emit lights from all angles so basically fill up all these black areas but the problem with it is just wash out uh, the color of your scene so it just things become doesn't look really good so you want to make sure you don't go too much with it so 0 0.5 I found this pretty good number okay so after we added the ambient light uh, let's open the window and then let's render okay so now it's 29 seconds and you can see before and after how the ambient light uh, help a lot to fill up all these black areas so it's become uh, more um, visible to us so so that's really good that's very helpful and it added two seconds of uh, uh, render time which is not really it's not much okay so the last thing I want to do with this right uh, light rig is I want to increase the specular light because now there is no really much specularity happening in the scene and I want to increase that but I don't want to do it through the main directional light because now the one way to increase specularity is basically increase the intensity of our directional light but that's gonna start uh, introducing very hot spots in the scene and it's gonna be really hard uh, to work with when you do compositing so the way to do it is you can go create a point light so let's create a point light you see and then the important thing here when you create this point light is you want to make sure it's uh, the same location almost the directional light because you want to use this point light just for specular purposes and let's raise it high up just make sure it's really like covering the scene okay and then let's do a couple of tweaks here first let's disable emit diffuse so this way it's not gonna actually affect the lighting of the scene it's gonna be still relying 100% on the directional light and then so this way we're just getting the emit specular from it but then let's increase the intensity to 2 since we're just using it for emit specularity so we can increase this uh, number uh, you can ch play with this number to get as much intense specular as you as you like okay so after that everything else is fine we don't need to have any shadows in this light so let's save and uh, let's render okay so now it's done and it's 31 seconds you can see before and after how the specular uh, light increased into the scene you can see in this uh, garbage bin for example how it's have more specular now you can see that also on the leaves everywhere the specular highlights getting all over the place and that's really good because that's make your scene uh, more believable and all the metal and all these shiny objects can reflect uh, it's gonna get this uh, nice uh, highlights on it so that's it basically for this lighting it's really simple and you can see now it's we we have like 31 second per frame so if you have a thousand frame of this scene you render it a lot faster with the 31 second per frame than like 10 minutes 
and uh, I use this quite a bit for uh, as I mentioned uh, low budget uh, projects that require kind of good quality uh, but uh, it doesn't require me like uh, like days and days of rendering but the key things here is to make sure when you do this kind of lighting you want to rely on uh, compositing to make up uh, to just enhance this a lot and it make sure always when you do the lighting you don't get too bright areas and super dark areas you want to make sure your lighting is kind of like uh, you're getting like uh, highlights but not too bright and you're getting also dark areas but not super dark and the reason of that so when you take it to compositing you can play with the color correction and increase the highlight and do all that st stuff add glow and then depth of field and that's gonna make the difference between taking your render from looking okay to looking really good in comp I always do that basically I enhance things in comp a lot in after effects and make them look really nice and uh, that helps a lot and will speed up the whole process really fast okay guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a comment let me know what you think uh, share like and subscribe and see you in the next video